Hi everyone, Mary and Espresso Press Design, welcome. Thank you for joining me today, September 5th, 2024. I'm starting a new series. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. Um, it's going to be just junk, mostly. Creating things with junk for junk journals. Um, I don't know. It's not going to be entirely junk because you will need some equipment, of course. So I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. Just junk, trash to treasure, I'm not sure. But today we're going to be making something I think is pretty cool but um, I'll let you be the judge of that. First, my newest paper collection is Hello Autumn. And I only printed one as usual, but it's butterflies, berries, and autumn leaves in autumn colors. And there you go. So that's that. A new little thing I made. I was going to maybe do this today, but <clears throat> if you want to know how I made that, let me know. I'll make it needs some it needs some work. It needs some perfecting. Let me know if you want to learn that, and I'll do that. But today what we're going to do you're going to need some magazines and we're going to make these little I'm going to call them rubbings <laughs> and uh, you won't believe how I did it and there's another one and that's a combination let me bring these up to the camera so that you can see clearly. Now, as you'll see, it works much better on darker images. So keep that in mind. Wait, let me see. That goes like that. Hopefully you can see those numbers and things from the Tim Holtz embossing folder. But it just occurred to me, because I am being overwhelmed with paper, if I had just stuck to just creating with junk, I could have cleared out my whole house and made some beautiful things with all these things I've been collecting for years and years and years. So what you'll need, you will need an embossing folder for best results, but I do have a couple of tricks here for those who don't have any of that. You'll need your magazine images. I have the other little half of my crow here. And maybe I could use this little bird cage. So today I thought I would show um, what to do if you don't have an entire image that you like, as I did with this one. This is a combination of two different images. Whereas these ones are an entire image, and it was just dark, and it worked. So today I'm going to show you a partial image. So you'll need your magazines, your bases. What I'm using for a base are my some more junk. I cut apart old sketchbooks, which are watercolor paper, and these are four by six. 
and I just cut them apart and I have a stack of those to use anytime I want. When I need something heavier, works great. This one happens to be blank. This needs a little trim. So you'll need that. You can use book pages, you can use whatever you want for a base. But I'm just using that because it works well. And then I did have to cover the back because the back gets um, textured from the embossing folder. So if you want to write on it, keep in mind, here's one I didn't cover yet. If you want to write on it, you're going to have to cover it again. And there's book page. So both of those need covered. And these ones already are. Okay. So you need your magazine images. You'll need some glue. I prefer to use my letter, number, embossing folders. This is a 3D. These are just standard. Um, these are, this is cursive letters. Hopefully you can see that. Words. I prefer these type of embossing folders, but it's up to you. And I will be standing up to use my machine. And then here are just some textured plastic doily. I think this is from making a for making a rug kit. Just things I use to make texture or for coffee dyeing or whatever. Things like that. They have to be a little bit dimensional. And I'll show you that if you don't have an embossing folder. So where I got this idea was someone who used stamps, rubber stamps. Let me get my pile here. I have a whole mess here beside me. Someone who used stamps and then they put it underneath their image and then they sanded. And that's how they got that effect. Pretty cool. Let me make sure you can see that. <clears throat> It works best on dark images, of course, but number one, I didn't like the sanding, and number two, it if you have letters like this, they're going to come out backwards, so I didn't like that. So I came up with my own solution. Just get these out of the way. <clears throat> and I already have. Wait, I'm just going to throw these over here. And you'll need your magazines, of course. Whatever you prefer. I have been using these real simple. But whatever magazines you have. I have some good housekeeping here. I have two stacks of magazines beside me. And remember your image, it's going to work better if it's dark. So, I have one prepared already. And then I'm going to do another one here for you. And show you a couple tips. Let me get a sheet here. That'll work. Okay, 
So I'm just going to use this twinings for this. And I'm probably going to cut because or fold. I meant to come down here last night and find some more images and then I fell asleep. <laughs> so I have one prepared. And I'm just going to prepare another one and show you some tips for if there's something you want to hide. And I'm probably going to turn that sideways on my page. Hopefully you'll fit good enough. So I have a little dark spot, a little dark on this one. And then I'm probably this is a new, little bit new procedure for me. Come on. When you tear sideways, the images, they tear better going up and down than sideways. So I'm just going to glue that. Using my purple glue, the magazine here. So let me know what you think might be a good title. I'm probably gonna keep that out. I don't really care if I have that. Okay. Hopefully I went over far enough with the glue. Okay. So Let's say there's something I want to cover up. Like in this one, there was a hand. I didn't want the hand. So I just took another little piece. And I just went over it like so. Now you can crumple this paper if you want. So I'm just going to um, go over this other half with strips. And it would probably be better if I use slightly different tones. I'm just using what's what I have here. Some more of this. That just adds to the texture and it gives you a little more <clears throat> color. Okay, and one thing I forgot, <laughs> you'll need a spray water bottle with, I'm using 50% uh, water, 50% alcohol, approximately. Okay. 
Now see, it wouldn't even matter if I had that in there, although I don't know if it's dark enough. But I think I will include it. Well, maybe not. Yeah, why not? I got that pink in there. Have all these magazines. So it just occurred to me. Let's just make some stuff with junk and see what we uh, come up with. I'm going to try to add a little bit of this if it tears enough. Okay, red and green. Oh well. So that's how I prepared one. Now I blew up my roller. And then of course I trimmed it. Should be saving these blanks for something else, but oh well. I still have sketchbooks to cut up. Yeah, I think I did all that after I got my. Or did I? After I got my new guillotine, my large one. Okay, so there's that, and I know it doesn't look like much, but it has to dry. It's still sticky. Okay, and I got a bubble, but that's okay because it's going to press out in the embossing machine. Make sure all your glue is dry, or you're going to be sorry because. It will stick to your embossing folder. Okay, so I'm probably going to use Tim Holtz for this one just because it's grungy and so I'm probably going to go like that. Sure, I got all the numbers I want. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. So it's going in there, and I'm going to emboss. I'll be right back. And I probably forgot. Yeah, you'll also need a soft cloth. I use my husband's t-shirts for my craft room cleanup material. So yes, you will need that. And this particular folder only requires two plates because it's so thick. And if 
you want. You can spray it to get a deeper impression. So there we go. There it is, just embossed. And that's not going to show up, and I don't want it to. So I just want what I'm going to do to show up on the dark. So, okay. This is where you get your spray bottle. 50%, half and half, half alcohol, half water. I'm going to give it a spray. Let it sit a second. And then I'm just going to begin rubbing. Now some, some magazines work better than others. And don't rub too hard because you're going to um, take off your image. And if you just let it sit a minute, it's going to dissolve that ink. And you'll begin to be able to rub it off. Let me get a clean cloth here so I can show you. See, I'm rubbing off that ink. There we go. Now I don't want, I didn't want to lose my crow, so that's why I just did it half and half. So there you go. Very cute, distressed little postcard there for you. And you can keep going as much as you want, but I wouldn't damage the paper too much. You know, and that's why I say use dark. And you can spray it again if you have to. Whoops, see, I just tore my paper. Didn't want to do that. But I could. I'll just leave it. It's just part of the look. So, yeah, don't. Don't go too hard and don't get it too. <sighs> Try not to go over it too many times or that will happen. It happened to me a couple times. But that is so much better than sanding. Because <laughs> you do not get all those little, all that sand dirt all over your table. So there's one. Now we're going to do this one, and I think I will use a different folder. Just so, um, let me see if I can get this word in here. Okay. That'll work. I'll get create and moments. <clears throat> and this one I might spray just so it gets a little deeper. Probably spray the back. Although I don't know. I'll just spray it lightly because this is not a 3D folder. Okay. So I have create, moments, live, dream, laugh, love, beautiful. And that will probably be good enough for this one. Okay. I 
haven't tried any yet with my cursive text. It's a little smaller. And that is still a little sticky. So there it is, just embossed. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot sticky. <laughs> All I did was reactivate that glue. So hopefully I don't get any tearing when I do this. Better start with the very soft. See what's going to happen first. This is also a different magazine. So hopefully it works. While it's coming up, Cloth is turning red. <laughs> Every magazine is different. You'll just have to experiment. Actually rubbing the ink from the cloth. There we go. There, it's coming up because that's purple, red. Yep. Pretty. Okay. There we go. And there's another little card. The crow and the tea. Okay. So where are we? 29. Let me just show you. I, I'm sure I could rub that a little more. And it would be almost white. That is so much easier than sanding. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And there's the crow again. Okay. <clears throat> so let me get a quickly find a dark page here. Hopefully this will work. And let me show you with just something textured. Um, I would personally um, tape down my, I would tape this down. So you just put it on there. This, this is the part, you might have to do this ahead of time and then glue it on your base later. But hopefully you can see that texture coming out there because the paper itself was slightly textured, or I mean the image. And there it is. I should have used a black. Let me, let me try that dark spot. Okay. 
Well, there's my ink because that's blue. There, that's better. See that? So you can do something like that. Let me try my. Where'd that little one go? I knew this one worked. It's a little doily. For some things I might like this even better. So, okay. And I, you know, this is a good way to say you have, you know, part of your image you really like, and then part of it you don't. <laughs> you could put all the texture over part of it you don't. There we go. And it will hide all the stuff you want to hide. So, for example, that little, and then the other part of just patching in a little place that, where you want to hide something. Let me do that real quick. I would probably want to hide that word if I didn't like that word. So I would just glue a little strip over it. And then it would be hidden and it would just be part of the design. So remember when you if you're doing it this way, you're probably gonna want to it's not gonna work if you put it on a thick base. <laughs> so you're gonna have to do it on the image, cut it out then glue it onto your base. Let me try um, let me try this one. Only gonna get a part of it. Yes, I love that one. Love this. I use this all the time for my coffee dyeing. So there you go. Here's that one. Beautiful. Okay. Some of this moisture out of here. <clears throat> so let me recap. You'll need, I use 50 50 for this. Anytime I want to lift anything off a magazine, I add a little more alcohol than water because I think alcohol dissolves the ink. Let my new one go. Here's our little crow. This is still quite wet. I, I bet I could get even more off there. I get that almost completely white, but I don't want another tear. So I'm not going to do it. And then these, you know, they might curl a little bit. And of course, again, I'll have to back them if I want to write on them. If I just want to keep it as a little card, I don't have to. So you'll need your 50-50 alcohol glue, your magazine images, your bases, if you don't have an embossing folder, you'll need your dimensional texture makers, whatever you choose. You'll have, just have to look around your house 
and see what you find. But I think I think this is much better than sanding. And I think it can help you turn a lot of junk into something beautiful for your junk journal. And I I personally believe if you are doing a complete junk journal, you really should try to upgrade whatever it is you're using. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, I did. Let me show you a stamp real quick. Um, this butterfly works. I personally don't like the stamps as much unless you have a large one. So, same thing. Just going to put your stamp down. the spray it works better stamps don't work too bad because if they're cling stamps they actually stay in place so there's a the little stamp and actually it can come out better than that but I personally prefer the um, embossing holders than the stamps and remember if you are using stamps letters are going to come out backwards so you can't really use words unless you don't mind that if you just want it for texture background. Okay. Get this put away. Get my table, my arrangement arranged again. Sorry about that. I did want to show you everything I could think of. Okay. <clears throat> that goes like that. I like that one, I like that one, I like that one. Okay everyone, I'm going to call this um, probably magazine rubbings. And my new playlist. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but you'll find it when you see it. So thanks for your time, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.